Hi guys, this is Jean from Pulsar Audio, here in Grenoble in the French Alps. I'm going to present you the Mew, the brand new compressor plugin from Pulsar Audio. It's an emulation of a famous industry standard mastering compressor. Any of you who have used this vintage piece of kit will immediately recognize its unique vibe. So now I'm going to show you how to use the Mew as a master compressor with a sidechain input in order to give a bit of edge to an EDM mix. For this, we want to trigger the compressor with the bass drum track to make the mix bounce more. In order to do this, we need to route the bass drum track into the external sidechain input of the plugin. Let's see in detail how to do this. Here's how I routed my session. Everything except the bass drum track is routed into bus 7 and 8. Bus 7 and 8 and the bass drum track are routed to the master bus. The Mew plugin is inserted into the bus 7 and 8. And finally, the bass drum track is sent to bus 9, which will be routed to the external sidechain input of the plugin. Now let's go in our key input and choose bus 9, activate our external sidechain, lower the threshold, and hear what happens. You can see the gain reduction on the meters. Unfortunately, the compression is not bouncing with the afterbeat, so we're going to set a faster release time to match it with the tempo. Let's play around with the threshold setting to find a sweet spot. Now let's bypass the plugin. Now you can really hear how it makes the music bounce and come to life, adding depth to the mix. This is a good opportunity to show you another feature of this plugin, usually known as a look ahead function. This knob allows us to delay or move forward in time our side chain signal. In this setting, with the look button turned clockwise, you can hear how the clap stands out. Or, when the look button is turned counterclockwise, we can hear all the transients being squished by the compressor. I hope you can really hear how great this plugin is in a specific kind of application, in which we're trying to give a bouncy feel to an EDM track. Thanks for watching this video. You can try this plugin for free in the link posted below. If you like this video, please click on the like button, subscribe to the Pulsar Audio channel to discover new mix tips and software releases, and visit our website at pulsar.audio. Hope to see you soon, and have fun making great music.